What's up everybody? I'm going to review an entire soft kit of armor from Shrike Armory. They're based out of Russia. I was the first person in the US to get one of these a couple months ago. It's just been a delay because all the dancing and fighting I've been doing in the last two months just uh, it was on the back burner. But here it is, my first soft kit review. I'll tell you some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. This is my first review of a soft kit, so if any details are left out that you need to know, comment below, subscribe, and everybody should subscribe. As you can see, this is where I do my blogs. I lost my tripod, so we're going to have to film this by hand. But any questions, leave below, and I'll gladly answer them for you. And I will put it on in the backyard and do all kinds of things so you can see how it looks in action. So let me just tell you right now, I'll put a link of Shrike Armory somewhere in the comments or description below. This comes in black only as of right now, and it weighs 17 pounds. Let's check it out. This is the complete Shrike Armory soft kit. Helmet, chest, there's your arms, one hand protection, and you have your legs here. What really drew me to this, this is my first good thing to say about this company, are the looks. Just real quick, these round dowels, and it's all pointed with leather. And it's, uh, I actually just tied them up a little bit tighter when I got them, but it looks just like my articulated legs. I love this look. Even more is this helmet. I love the look of this helmet. It's very unique. You're not going to find anything out there, at least right now, with a look like this. It is great visual training. I'm not exactly sure why they have this dip here. Maybe, uh, I theorize, maybe this is to simulate looking over the top of your kite shield. But, you know, fighting is dynamic. You're not always going to have your vision blocked with a shield like that. But I'll show you the range of vision I get when we're out in the backyard. This is great work for your head, your brain. Your brain is also very protected. As you can see, it also has pointed in the back with leather and extra pad. That's the rear head protection right there. Maybe someone could get it up like this and you might be exposed, but generally it's gonna be there. It's not moving around too much. Fire and ice, if anyone needs to know, that is the only logo on here. It's not like a Shrike logo. Top of the head, a little thin. If you get whacked on top of the head, um, you, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's bad. Like I said, first soft kit I'm reviewing, so maybe other ones have a better top of the head protection. Overall, I've taken some hits with light plastic lightsabers protective kit. Compared to some of the other kits out there, this is like segmented, and as you can see, it, it probably bends a little bit, bit better. If you bend forward, three segments to bend at, waist, you know, this is where probably uh, your your rib cage is going to line up. And just to go around your body, I believe this is probably going to feel more comfortable and form-fitting to your body than some of these other ones that are just one solid piece of uh, soft material. And it is very comfortable. As you can see, here's the liner inside. That's about how thick it is right there. Very comfortable to wear. Now let's pick out two things that I didn't like. So these shoulders, we'll start with them. Now, they move around a lot. When I put it on, actually they don't move as much as I thought, but there are times when I think maybe some of these other kits have a better protection. Is it possible maybe to put a strap that connects here, just hold it onto your arm? I don't know, but something to investigate maybe later on. When I put it on though, uh, you know, I feel like it's pretty good but I can admit that I've gotten hit in the gaps between the top of my elbows and the shoulders. And I wasn't sure if that's because I was running around, these are moving, but we'll see. You'll see later in the video when I put it on and move around. Another thing I didn't like was it didn't come with any kind of belt to support the legs. You point your legs onto something. It comes with these already included and they're already threaded into here, but there wasn't anything. So for three bucks, I went to the thrift store, <coughs> the thrift store, and I bought this women's belt for three bucks. Not a big deal, but maybe something that they might consider in the future. Getting a close-up look inside the legs, two buckles, uh, Velcro. There's the Velcro. So I, I do like the buckles are great. I can say after about a half hour, the Velcro behind my knees had come undone, and I had to redo it. It's not that hard. So let's put a like and dislike together. So as you can see, you know, these have buckles. Well, look, see, that one actually was already broken when I got it, right? And uh, this one 
same same thing. This one was broke. Don't like that. However, maybe they are already aware that shipping's rough. They've included enough. They I got two of these and uh, actually got an extra buckle. So they actually included a little bit of extra stuff. So all I have to do is replace these. I think it's just because shipping, it was cracked already. You know, what can you do? You, you smash these in a box and hope for the best between uh, one country and then coming overseas to the United States. So, hey, you know, what can I say? Let's go over this hand protection because it's so easy. It fits um, the soft weapons I have, so it's great. I thought it might be a little small, but if you can see when I have it on, my wrist is a little exposed there. I don't know. Questionable, though, is this came in two shipments because they hit their shipping limit for the month. I am just not sure if... Check out my right arm with that awesome round dowel. The inside, that one's brown. Maybe this one was made in the previous run or something. The left arm, no round dowel. So I don't know if that's intentional. Uh, I didn't ask or... In, or you know, disclose that I'm right-handed, but the left-handed one, no roundel, black on the inside. Not exactly sure why that is. Either way, when I do have a shield on, it's not gonna matter. Something good I have to say. So if you look at the back, it even can come around the back. So you even have some decent back protection. Sides, wraps all the way around. Now I left these strapped in so you can see, you can adjust these. I really like the adjustments, right? So. You can clip this together to hold it, to hold it, right? And you can adjust these and tighten them to pull them up so it fits very snug. Now, you can put this on all by yourself. The thing that you have to do is you leave this final one unstrapped. These ones here that actually pull up, these go like over the shoulders and pull up the back. You can put these on, you put this on backwards so that this is in front, strap these in, pull these straps up, tighten them up. Take it off because now it's it's like a shirt. You can't spin it because your arms are in it. Take it off, flip it around the right way, put it back on, then you connect this one last. So you can put this on all by yourself. And as you can see, you actually have some decent back protection here too. And it actually overlaps with this. You got two full plates of padding. And I think on me, it comes to like about there. Okay, that's your back. I also like, as you can see, they pointed on these here. These protect the top of your thighs, your hips, right? So they do flap around a little bit when you're running, as you can imagine. But uh, I've taken some hits in them when I'm standing still, very comfortable. I've taken hits in these legs with PVC and it's very comfortable. And then the only other thing I could say that I wasn't too crazy about is if you just look at the legs, this covers the like the top half of your shin, and my ankle is about where my thumb is on here, so you don't really have a whole lot of protection, maybe like from from here down. And these don't flap around as much as I thought, but as you can see, there's no strap on the bottom. I think maybe having some kind of buckle around the bottom here, or having these even just come down even further, uh, just in general, might be nice. I, I don't often get hit right here, but you know, it, it can happen, and that is right on a bone that can hurt. Overall, I think this is a great kit. Now let's do about uh, a couple minutes of me running around the backyard with it on, and uh, you'll get the very best review of this kit, at least, at least on the internet as of today. This is the Shrike Armory Soft Kit, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review and helped you in your purchase decisions. Any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. Thanks. I can see here, 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 here. Watch these.